Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an updated living room tour. I finally completed this room. I believe this is the only room in my house that is completely done. I'm not waiting on any new furniture pieces. I don't want to add any more items to it. I'm very happy with it. It's my favorite room in our house. I did share a home tour about six months ago when I was still waiting on a lot of different items and I have switched up some things in my home since then. So I will do some updates on different rooms. But today we're gonna be starting off with the living room. As you can see, my style is very neutral, very minimal. That's kind of my style throughout my whole home and wardrobe, makeup, everything, just my overall style. So getting started, Let's talk about the biggest piece in my living room, which is my sectional couch. This is the cloud couch from Restoration Hardware. This was the first item we purchased for our home. The day that we closed on our home, I went to Restoration Hardware and put in the order for this couch. It actually arrived within about 10 days, which was great that we got a couch right away because I have furniture that I ordered last July and I'm still waiting on it now in March. But I'm very glad that was not the case with this couch. So this couch has five pieces to it. They all pull apart. You can customize the amount of pieces you have with this couch. We actually have the same couch in a different style in our theater room as well and that one is six pieces so this one is just a little bit smaller as an l shape and also the fabric is performance fabric they say you can spill red wine on it i will never do that on purpose <laughs> but it is resistant to staining i have my little puppy over there, I have another dog as well. They hang out on the couches all the time and I'm able to just wipe up any staining with just a wet rag. I also have a furniture cleaner, I'll link it below, that was recommended to me by Restoration Hardware. It's available on Amazon if you want a good um, couch or fabric cleaner. The other great thing about this couch is that you can dry clean the cushions. I actually just did that a few weeks ago. It was about, I mean, every dry cleaner is different, but it was about like 200 something dollars to dry clean all of the cushions. I just took them off all of the pillows, the top and bottoms, and it looks basically good as news. I was blown away by how drastically different they look because there was some discoloration just from, especially we had a really rainy winter and my puppy would run around on the couch with muddy paws <laughs> and we would clean it up, but with time, it was looking a little bit dull, so dry cleaning it just completely restored the bright whiteness of the fabric. So that's a great thing with this couch too. The biggest con is that you constantly need to upkeep um, the look of it because it is a very soft, pillowy couch. My puppy is lying on the actual cushion, but normally he lies on top of these cushions up here. I had to re-fluff them before I started filming and you might see him move to them as I'm filming this video. So if you have pets and you let them on your furniture, this couch will never look perfect, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, not because of the fabric, the staining, I'm happy with the white. It always stays white and I'm able to clean up messes, but actually having the couch all fluffed up and looking very formal and full is rarely the case unless I'm constantly fluffing it. So that's the biggest downside that it does have some maintenance to keeping the shape and look of the couch. It's only gonna take you about three minutes. It's not like a whole process, but that's one thing to keep in mind. You can also steam the couch as well if you wanna get out any wrinkles. If I were to host like a big party, maybe I would do that, but that's not in the plans for me right now. I'm not really dedicated to that. I also like to vacuum this couch about once a week, every other week, um, especially if we do have our dogs like out and about quite a bit. I'll vacuum the couch quite a bit more and that helps maintain it as well. So on my couch, I also just recently added throw pillows. For some reason, it took me so long to commit to some throw pillows. There was some pillows that I really loved from Restoration Hardware that were so expensive. So I was trying to find 
a similar look to them and kind of a dupe from somewhere else. So I ended up going with a few different styles of pillows from Pottery Barn and adding throw pillows completely changed this room because it just looked very like corporate office, just kind of cold before I added in the throw pillows. So starting off with this one, I believe this is about 22 inches. A pillow and a pillow insert are both from Pottery Barn. These pillow covers are a little bit pricier. I believe they were around $90 and they are removable. You can get them dry cleaned. I just really like the look and texture of these. I actually took a picture of my couch and then photoshopped a bunch of different pillows in to see which look I liked the best. So I ended up going with two of these pillows on each end. Underneath um, the pillow on the other side, I have the throw blanket that I mentioned in my recent Target haul. I love the Casa Luna throw blankets. I love the whole Casa Luna line from Target. It's awesome. I have their bedding. I have so many throw blankets from them. Their room sprays are amazing. So I'll link that below. I'll link everything that is linkable below. And then moving into this corner of the couch, I wanted a pillow that had a little bit of more texture to it so i got this one that is a bit darker also from pottery barn this was more affordable than the uh, bigger pillows another one where you can remove it also the pillow inserts from pottery barn are not too expensive i actually thought they would be way more expensive compared to like you know ikea um target amazon where i normally get pillow inserts but they were around like 15 20 bucks which is the same price i would pay at all those other retailers so i just got everything at pottery barn Sometimes you can get coupons if you like sign up for their emails and stuff, 10% off. And then lastly, this one does not have a removable um, insert or anything, but this one is also from Pottery Barn, another one that just had a bit more texture. I did want to incorporate like kind of a similar look to the boucle chairs that I have in the corner that I'll talk about in a second, but I didn't want to go with a boucle pillow. I didn't want it to look like too cheesy or too too much boucle all over the place. So I felt like this was kind of a good happy medium to have that kind of similar boucle look, but still have like a different texture and pattern to it. So then on the other side of the couch, we have these two boucle chairs. They are from Lulu and Georgia. I have a thing for boucle. I have boucle in several rooms in my home. And I feel like out of everything that I have that's boucle, these are the pieces that are the most timeless because they also have the wood element and they also have like a different shape to them. I like that they have like no arms on the side. They kind of give me a lounge chair look. On the other side of our living room wall, it's just an open window um, showing our pool. So I really wanted that kind of bringing the outdoor in look, especially when you look out from this side of the house. I'm also very much in a lunge right now to show you guys the chairs fully, but what also inspired these chairs is when I was picking out the Restoration Hardware couch, I was working with one of their designers in store and they were showing me like different options that I could do from Restoration Hardware for chairs to go along with a couch and their chair options are so expensive and I wanted to kind of recreate the options that they were giving me with a different kind of chair, something that was more reasonable from a different retailer. I also don't necessarily love doing all matchy matchy furniture from the same retailer. Um, I don't want my house to look like a store. I want it to look very customized. But I feel like a lot of the furniture items from Lulu and Georgia look very curated and Everything that they have is my style and just absolutely gorgeous. So even though they are a little bit more of an expensive retailer, they are a bit more affordable than Restoration Hardware. And I feel like they have more unique pieces. Okay, I'm gonna get out of this lunch. And just overall, this chair makes me so happy. Honestly, our dogs sit here a lot more than we do since this is across from the TV. I love these chairs. I actually had this chair in my office for a while during the holidays because this corner was where we had our Christmas tree. So I actually did get quite a bit of use out of this chair while I had it in my office for like a month or two during the holidays. I just love the bottom and the back of it. I just really like that kind of beachy resort look. I was kind of going for a kind of luxury hotel, beach hotel inspired look. Um, we stayed at this gorgeous hotel in Cabo last year for our anniversary and it 
I just remember taking a bunch of pictures of it. I'm like, that. this is the, the kind of feeling I want in my home as well. So that's what these chairs remind me of. Over in this corner, we have my olive tree. It is from Target. I love it so much. It actually comes in a planter. And today I actually finished repotting it into this gray planter from Amazon that I love. I think it's such a great deal. I believe it's under $80. This is basically a dupe to some planters that they have at Restoration Hardware for hundreds of dollars. I basically wanted to find a similar look for less. It took me quite a bit to find it, to be honest. It took me actually like a month to look at different retailers. I wanted something that still looked very high end. And this is um, like a very solid planter. It's not plastic or anything. It's huge and because the tree actually comes with a planter attached to it, I had to get a really big planter to stuff it inside. Then I just filled it with some moss, got that at Michael's, and I also um, raised the planter quite a bit with some foam underneath there. I just filmed a TikTok on that as well, but that's definitely a good hack when you have full plants and you want to make them look a bit more realistic, add some volume to them. Add some moss, add some face filler, and some foam or newspapers, whatever you want, to the base of the planter to really raise it up. And then let's move into my favorite thing in my whole house, which is my artwork. So here you can see the full look of both art pieces. They come as a set. I got them at Etsy, and I was so happy with this find. I was a little nervous because it was shipping internationally, and I did not want it to get damaged or anything. I got it around the holidays, so I was kind of nervous that it, something would happen, but it was shipped in a very secure container, very well-made structure that we had to kind of break apart. Um, so I was really happy that it came perfectly intact and the timeline wasn't too bad. It took from me ordering it to getting it about five weeks. And this was during the holidays, so it would actually probably be sooner now that the holidays are over and everything. I love that they're not completely identical. They're slightly different. And they are also custom made. So you can customize the specific sizes. I'll leave the sizes of my artwork below. And you can customize the frame, or you can get it without a frame. It's much cheaper without a frame, but I definitely wanted to frame them. I went with a wooden frame. Um, you can get it in black, you can get it in white, a couple different colors. I really like the wood. I just wanted to add some more like earthy or natural elements to the room. I didn't want everything to look like matte black and white. Like I wanted to add some warmth to the room, especially because they are gray. And I also wanted to go with abstract art because it's another thing that's timeless. I think I will never get sick of this artwork. Um, I'll play back this clip if I ever replace it. <laughs> I want to change it out. But I really think that I will always love this artwork. And it goes with a lot of different home decor styles. And it kind of blends in the room and stands out at the same time. So you can kind of adapt it with your different styles. I think that if I got something that was more like not abstract, if I just got like a painting or something, um, I might get sick of it with time. So I really wanted something that was neutral, minimal. Love this style. I had a really great time working with the artist because they send you pictures before they ship it out. They ask you if you want any changes. I actually had them make the gray a little bit darker so it really popped out. Um, so I really like that as well because they are unique, they're custom. They're not just, you know, something that you can get from, I was gonna say something you could get from Crate and Barrel as I look at my Crate and Barrel painting that I have in my dining room. But I do love the custom look with this. This specific artist also has a lot of other styles of minimal paintings. You could get them in so many different sizes as well um, and individual paintings, not just a set like this. And I'll link some other artwork finds that I really love from Etsy as well to give you some other ideas. If you're into a very minimal, neutral, abstract look, there's so many great options at Etsy. And then in the center, I always get asked what my artwork is in the center. It is my TV. It's a Samsung frame TV. This is a 54 inch TV. You can customize the artwork. Um, I pay $5 a month for a subscription to 
have access to the artwork from the Samsung website. I believe like on Etsy, um, you can download different artwork as well. I've never really looked into that. I just, I don't mind um, the artwork that I have. I think it looks nice. You can change it out. I change it out for basically each season so far as well. Um, and they have like hundreds of different options. So I don't need, feel the need to go and search for something else. I'm cool with just some kind of neutral art print in there. Um, and then the frame is from Deco TV frame. So when you get the Samsung frame TV, it comes in a very basic frame, kind of like my artwork. It comes with a basic black frame. Um, you could switch it up to different colors, smaller frames. And then Deco TV frames, they have more um, unique, more exaggerated frames, like the one that I have here. Um, we also have the same frame in our kitchen as well. I love it. It hooked on in just about one minute. I've done a couple videos on it on my TikTok. I really love it. So really happy with the Samsung Frame TV. You can also customize the TV to turn off and just be a black screen if you're not in the room. Um, but we just keep ours on all the time. So you can also customize it to go off, I think, at certain hours. But we just leave ours on. So... That is everything kind of on this side of the wall. If you're curious about our fireplace, it was actually already blue when we purchased our home and I'll leave the name of the paint. I believe I have a, um, a can of the paint in my garage. I'll find it and I'll leave the color um, down below. I actually think it's pretty cool. At first I wasn't too in love with the blue, but I kind of played into it with the table centerpiece and I really like having this pop of blue in our living room since it is very much a neutral white space. I think it adds just kind of like a little fun pop of color. So next, moving into our coffee table. I absolutely love this table. It's from Crate and Barrel. It is a travertine coffee table. I really love this one because it is coated with a stain resistant finish. So you can be less careful with this table. I still use coasters, but you can spray it with just like regular cleaner or a damp cloth. You don't have to worry about it getting like chipped or damaged like you do with other travertine furniture. So I love the natural material of the top and then the base is oak. I also really love the shape of the table, just the oval and the base as well. I love that it's open in the center because my couch being a giant L shape, really encloses the room. So having some open bases with your furniture helps open it back up. I really wanted to pay attention to that when I was picking the furniture because the couch already is something that really takes up. You have to design the room around the couch basically. So I wanted furniture that made it feel very cozy. I didn't want it to feel like an office building. I didn't want it to feel harsh and industrial. I wanted it to still feel cozy, beachy. So super happy with this coffee table. I feel like it really softens the room and I absolutely love ordering from Crate and Barrel and CB2. They're my favorite retailers to order from because when they deliver, they bring things right to your room and they don't leave any boxes or anything I've had. Very different experiences with different retailers and delivery and the process of getting furniture, but it's always been very smooth with crate and barrel they're very specific about their delivery times they're just absolutely amazing i've had great service from them so love this table and what i have on top of it is just a vase from target a little blue vase very affordable just to match the blue fireplace and then the vase filler inside of it is from west elm and then lastly getting into my rug i love this rug it's a jute rug and it's from rugs usa Rugs USA has a lot of great affordable rug options. And I do have a rug pad underneath that is also from Rugs USA. Their rugs are like a couple hundred dollars and they look so good, especially when you're getting a rug for a big, big room. Um, definitely like from other retailers, a rug this size and even this look could be like $2,500. Whereas this one was around like $400, I believe. All right, so those are all of my living room details. If you are curious about my paint, I just repainted my whole house and it is the color Latte Froth from Dunn Edwards. But those are 
basically all of the other details of my living room. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll have everything linked below. Everything should still be in stock. I check frequently um, to link it for different TikTok videos as well. If you like to see a lot of home decor videos, I post several videos a week, dozens of videos a week on my TikTok, all home decor related. I'll have it linked below. And I'm also always sharing updates on my Instagram stories as well. And I do have some home specific videos coming up on my channel throughout the next month as well. So follow along and stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.